viewers so it's been a while since I've done a direct address vlog I just wanted to just chat about a few things three sections first section I want to talk about um, how fucking irritated I am at Royal Mail for anyone who maybe doesn't know watching from another country the Royal Mail are the pretty much the only mail service in the United Kingdom as you may have noticed it was my birthday recently so I had a lot of mail come through but there was a problem because instead of getting a birthday card through the post I got a lovely card from Royal Mail telling me that I had a card delivered that was not paid full amount by the sender was 10 p 10 pence short of full mailing literally it was a card and it had a little tiny bow for decoration on the front 10p short but you know what else this fuss cost me a quid an extra pound because of this 10p not being on this letter i have to pay a uh, one pound handling fee i was so angry i pretty much just paid for the birthday card i've received thanks royal mail that's excellent love you dickheads the second thing I want to talk about is Thomas Schaffernacker, who's the BBC weatherman who was caught on live TV giving the reporter the middle finger. You've probably seen this around on YouTube. I wanted to do some research to see if this guy um, had been fired, you know, because that's a pretty big thing and the BBC are meant to uphold this, you know, image of, like, standard. This guy has got away with so much. Such a legend. During one broadcast, he called Devon Devil, not too bad, but still pretty bad to insult a whole sort of like section of the country. On one show, he his earpiece or something obviously wasn't working. He literally just ripped it out and just, well, back to you because I don't even know if I'm on the air. And literally just stormed off in a massive strop. And on another broadcast, when he was talking about weather for Glastonbury, he was like, he accidentally said muddy shite instead of sight. That's just like a few of the things that he's done. This guy has done so much and had to apologise for so many things. Uh, dude, why has he not like been fired? I just think he's a legend. He's, even when he's reading the news, he just seems like one of the lads. I, I, I'm a fan. I, I'm going to like Thomas Schaffernacker because my friend... He's just told me, he's just sent me uh, a review of Piranhas 3D, which, ironically enough, is the thing that I was going to mention next in my vlog. I literally think it's one of the best films I've seen all summer, but it's not a good film, okay? Now, I say this from a, like, a film student's point of view, it's not a good film, but from my own personal point of view, I really like a a stereotypical almost like slasher horror because that's essentially what piranhas is it's just about a lot of people getting killed and there's a lot of gore and nudity loads and loads of boobs loads and loads of violence like with the fish and it's amazing if it's the, if you're expecting a an original storyline with like different ideas it's you will not be satisfied if you're expecting a clever plot twit no don't and there's just oh it's just it's just amazing it's just i can't literally i can't say enough about this one and i don't want to spoil it but uh there's a really good scene with a penis in it. And the 3D in it, they actually use the 3D. I've seen a lot of 3D films since the new wave of 3D came along and a, like, My Bloody Valentine and Piranhas 3D are the only two that seem to actually use the 3D rather than just giving the film depth. But I think that is something that only horror can get away with because horror is in, its, in itself quite a tacky genre. So to use a tacky technology like 3D kind of works well. As long as you appreciate that horror as a genre has almost become satirical of itself and that you kind of appreciate that conventions that it wants to stick to then you'll probably really like this film but if you're expecting something new and like new and original then don't bother but if you love boobs then go see it as well or if you love gore go see it just go see it okay so in conclusion of today's vlog royal mail bunch of wankers thomas schaffernacker total legend piranhas 3d probably one of the best films i've seen this summer put me in such a good mood so thank you for watching and i will see you all soon hopefully in about a week maybe a bit less i still haven't quite got into the flow of how many videos i'm going to upload in a various amount of time but um thank you to any new subscribers and all of that kind of jazz and i will see you all soon thank you bye Ain't looking for nothing but a good time. Why has ooh, Facebook?